Dale Earnhardt Jr. is our guest. Dale, you get to drive the pace car. Do you get to keep it? <laughs> no. I, w I wish. This is a nice Corvette, but no, somebody else is going to get a hold of that thing. That's a shame. I think you need to renegotiate. Uh, it's going to be a great day, the 103rd uh, running of the Indianapolis 500. What exactly are your duties? Uh, there, you know, I'm here for the first time, and I'm going to walk around and see a lot of different locations of the racetrack and just react to my, you know, what I'm seeing. And we're just going to capture that. Me and Rutledge Wood are going to spend the morning before the race walking around looking at different locations on the track and the facility, some of the more historic spots in this racetrack and uh, hopefully get to talk to some of the drivers on the driver's introduction stage up there and just a lot of different things. And then I'm going to drive the pace car. I'll get on the uh, pit box with Danica and uh, Mike Tirico, and they'll come to us periodically throughout the race just to get our feelings and reaction to what we're seeing in the event. But it's going to be very uh, easy, you know. I don't really uh, – I just kind of get to have a natural reaction to, to everything and not a, not going to have to be a numbers and stats guy and uh, – you know, do all the things we typically do in the booth. Okay, you're going to be Mike the whole time? I imagine so, yeah. Do you know what you're going to say? Have you thought about it at all? Or? No, it's just natural, just like this conversation we're having now. I'll just have a normal conversation with Brett, and there won't be anything scripted. I mean, it's just the best. that's the best part about it is to be able to get a genuine sort of reaction to where we are. If we're at the pit on stage, you know, that's going to be incredible, and there's going to be a lot of people there having a lot of fun, and want to be able to sort of show the fans at home exactly where we are and what we're doing and uh, we won't really have too much of a rehearsal or anything about what we're, what we're going to do on Sunday. Okay. Are you a Game of Thrones guy? I'm not. Do you have a uh, go-to TV show that you watch when you have to uh, sit around for a long time? Uh, it used to be The Office a long time ago, but then The Office went away. Um, too busy. I, yeah, I really don't watch a ton of TV now because my wife, my wife either has the TV on what she wants to watch or we got it on cartoons for our little girl Isla and I don't really spend a lot of time if I'm going to have the opportunity to, uh, to 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 even do anything I'm going to you know try to catch up on Twitter and social media and the news and see what else is going on with my Redskins and all that good stuff so okay we have a huge Redskins fan on our staff Chick McGee who you've met uh, your thoughts on the Redskins? He'll want to hear this. What do you think? Yeah, you know, as everybody, we're disappointed and, and, and heartbroken over the injury with Foster at linebacker. Going to be almost impossible to replace a talent like that. But still, you know, we we have some great players at that position that can be consistent. We've got a very solid defense around them. So I'm still, you know, very hopeful that we're going to do well. He wasn't on the team last year, and we had a great defense. I'll say that. So there's still good hope there on the defensive side of the ball. We got a great quarterback in Haskins that we drafted. I'm, I mean, as a fan, you're thrilled because that's going to be a whole lot of fun during preseason and, and, and training camp and all that, watching him play and figuring out whether he's got it or not. And so that's, that's thrilling for any team when they get a new quarterback, a new toy. So that's going to be fun to see how that develops. He should help the offense if he can get, get in there and make it happen. Great. Thank you so much. Thank you, Thank Dale. You. Certainly appreciate it.